this Dignitas is not the team that we had last week. That's Vasily almost going down. The Wild Grow save. What a game from Dignitas. TSM is getting whittled down and running for Silas on their own fountain. Smiles on the face of Dignitas, and they take down Team Solo. They We've had some good games. We definitely have a lot to improve on, but being first in the league is definitely a great place to be at. Taking sole possession of first place is Team Dignitas. I got, I got hit Twitch with a kick. I hit yeah, Twitch with a kick. Yes, yes. Twitch, Twitch, Woo. Twitch. Beauty, yeah. The strongest player on Dignitas right now is Shifter. Quadra kill for Shifter! Will they give it to him? Oh. Penta kill for Shifter! The number one thing we need to do is not get complacent and look at our mistakes. Dignitas can be a top three team if they really want it. Yeah, Dignitas is completely unstoppable at this point. I want to win more and I want to crush people harder. Welcome to week three of the North American LCS Summer Split. We're coming to you live in front of this incredible audience from our studios here in sunny California. Hello, I'm Rivington Bizzle the third, And I'm Sam Kobe Hartman Kensler. We've got another lineup of eight big matches this week, and with all of the top four teams within two games of each other, nobody is safe. That's right. Let's get right into it with the news that Dignitas has taken sole possession of first place. Yeah, Dignitas faced a tough schedule last week, first defeating LMQ in a commanding performance to tie them in the standings, and then they beat TSM to pull out a one-game lead. Then the other team that managed to defeat LMQ were Cloud9, who look like they're back to their winning ways. Yeah, Cloud9 turned in an impressive performance against LMQ, overcoming an early game deficit through superior team coordination. They're playing with more confidence, and they now have the longest winning streak in the North American LCS with three straight victories. That's right. Well, Cloud9 have righted the ship. Team Solo Mid still seems to be floundering a bit. They are now sitting in fifth place with three wins and three losses. Yeah, they've been trying to find a strategy that will work for them and their new lineup. Right. Uh, but so far, their wins are only against the teams that are in the bottom half of the standings. True story. Finally, Complexity fans are getting good news and bad news this week. Probably the team's mid lane shot caller, will be back on the rift. But Broken Shard, the free range jungler, will be out this week. And taking over for him is going to be Kez, the former uh, player for the Challenger Series team Cloud9 Tempest. He will be facing Comf tough competition as he faces off against Complexity and then Curse as well as LMQ. That is correct. He's on Complexity. Yes. <laughs> now let's check out the action out of Europe with your LCS Big Plays. And today, a little something a little different. You, the people, have spoken. So here's a tribute montage to a boy and his bird. Yeah, Froggen was outstanding on Anivia. At Fire Emblem 6 writes, Froggen needs to calm down. I don't think LCS Big Plays will be as interesting if all of them are just Froggen going God. And F. Guillaume says, this is why you really should ban Frog and Anivia. Respect to pick, Teleg Port OP. Here you go, the bird is the word in your LCS big plays. Oh, Frog and... He's not gonna play it, he's just baiting it. He did actually sadly. tweet, Anivia is back, so wow. maybe... Oh, it is. It is, ladies and gentlemen, wow. Anivia or Froggen. Trouble, he's gonna get caught out of the side, Wicked's gonna join in, Froggen manages to go on towards Mr. Rollins, Mr. Rollins goes down, Impaler on to time zone, can he land on towards him, a great stun goes down from Froggen, he gets himself in there. Froggen, what can you pick with your actually win team fights here? I don't think he does anything. Anivia, dude. This one is another mega throw to oh, and this. Froggen got it, Impaler's gone out, he's gonna go down. That hurts. Now is he shot? He comes around, gets into a Mega Inferno box gonna come in. It will miss his target though. And now Empire is in trouble. Rocket gets on towards him. He gets himself another double kill. Some amazing plays coming up from Frog, and it looks like kind of like riding the old bike. Yeah, I mean, it's great to see him back on it. Everybody's nostalgic, and it actually won them games, so that's a good choice. The super team definitely seems to be coming about, and here's a look at how Froggen's and Nivea helped fantasy owners collect 42.08 points, courtesy of the 21 KDA, 708 minutes minions were felled, and an excellent day for his fantasy owners. Head over to fantasy.lolesports.com to create your dream team of pro players today. I have him on my team.
Good pick. Uh, keep sharing those game-changing plays, though, throughout the entire day. Tweet at Lowell Esports and use the hashtag LCSBigPlays. And looking at the European table, Alliance sits in the top spot with seven wins and only one loss. They're followed one game back by SK Gaming. And in third, it's Super Hot Crew. In fourth, it's a tie between Fnatic and Millennium, each with four wins and four losses. They're followed by Gambit Gaming, the Copenhagen Wolves, and in eighth place, it's Rocket. Then back in the old US of A, we've got Dignitas sitting in first place with only one mark on the record. Then Cloud9, CounterLogic Gaming, and LMQ are sharing second, followed by TSM in fifth place. In sixth place, we have Team Curse with Complexity and Evil Geniuses sharing last place with one win so far this split. But of course, that will all change with our four games today, starting with Team Solo Mid versus LMQ. Then Evil Geniuses will take on Cloud9, followed by Dignitas doing battle with CLG, and we will conclude our LCS coverage with Complexity versus Curse. Then immediately following the conclusion of that match, we'll send it over to the North American Challenger Series, where Coast will face off against Team Green Forest. But at any time, you can find the complete schedule by heading over to lolesports.com, as well as vote for the teams you think will win. Just click Schedule, select Week three and start locking in your predictions. Also there you can find international coverage for the European, Korean, Chinese, and Southeast Asian leagues, complete with player stats, profiles, um, and all the information that you're going to need to be an intercontinental league fan. That's right. Or if you're in the Los Angeles area, you can join our studio audience. Click on the tickets link for all the details and start planning your LCS trip today like all these people did. But for now, let's throw it over to Freak and Jack at the analyst desk. Thank you very much, Riv. What's up, guys? I'm David Frick. Turley with me is Joshua Jat Leesman, as usual. Yes, that is as usual. Yeah. It's good to be here. It is good to be here. We've got a lot of fun stuff going on here today. So let's take a look now at the five players we'll be keeping an eye on this week, starting with TSM's jungler, Amazing. Yeah, Freak, teams have really discovered that Amazing can be targeted for his limited champion pool because he told them twice he's been forced on a champ he's less comfortable with, like Volibear and Sin Zhao. And if TFM, TSM hopes to move up the standings, Amazing has to learn more champions so he can't be focused on picks and bans. We'll see how that's going to progress throughout the uh, season. Now, next up is our Week 2 MVP, Afromu. CLG have an incredibly tough schedule as they face the number one Dignitas and defending champs in second place team Cloud9. We're going to see if he can continue to make the flashy plays and in-game calls that will carry his team to victory again this week. Yeah, and while Afromu was unstoppable last week, Quas was very stoppable. And Curse has had a tough schedule so far to start off this split. But Quas has really been flying under the radar. If they want to do well, if Cursed wants to succeed, Quas has to step up and be that top tier top laner they thought they were getting when they signed him. And of course, also from Curse, speaking of top tier players, Ix Special, former All Star support player there. In week two, we saw Cop and Ix Special working a bit better together. And honestly, Special had a 13 KDA in their two games last week, but you know he's now had another week to practice with the team, so we might see Ix Special's dependable play turning into some more wins for Curse. Yeah, and finally, we got to be watching Complexity's mid laner Prawley. He is back. We have to see if his shot calling can lead his team to victory, despite their jungler Broken Shard being out this week. So it's another big moment for Complexity because they do not want to be the worst team in the LCS. They do not. Well, you've heard from us. We want to now hear from you guys and weigh in on our Twitter question of the day. We're asking you which North American LCS team has the highest ceiling and why. Yes, yeah, send your answers to at LOL Esports, use the hashtag LCS, and you may just hear your answer read later in the show. All right, guys, so if you missed it on Thursday, the LCS preview show gave us an inside peek at the high-level discussions players have before and during their games. It's a segment we call All Chat. Peter. Uh, who's your favorite support? Holy shit, after the god man. Yeah, coming, coming. Oh, okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. It's you, baby. Okay, man, it's life. you. Wow, you, a little hesitation there. Come. Ah, uh, no. Well, uh, oh. you shouldn't have. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that, sorry. Come in. Got him? No. Oh. Oh, no! Oh, nice. nice. Push, 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 push. Egg hey, special. What's up? Was TSM funny in the pre chat? Yes. My ring finger is like hurting. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, maybe you should put a ring on it. <laughs> <laughs> keep going, keep going. The ball. Oh, cog, 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 cog. Just cog, cog, just cog, 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 cog. Nice, nice. There we go. Hey, baby. Cog. 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 Also, guys, whenever we're doing all this, remember, don't all talk at the same time. Nice. Yeah. Get, 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 get
Okay, that's fine. You don't need to chase. You don't need to chase. You don't need to chase. Oh, no. Oh, my God. What a monster. That's my boy. You know, Jack, we don't have to talk at the same time. It's actually better if we, you know, stagger and don't, you know. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, that was from completely different games. But the editing, fooled you. Yeah. It's okay, we've made it now. Be sure to tune in each Thursday, 8.30 a.m. Pacific Time, 5.30 p.m. Central European Summer Time for the LCS Preview Show. Yeah, we'll be arming you with the analysis needed to dominate your fantasy league as well as keeping you current on all the headlines out of the NA and EU LCS. All right, guys, gonna take a quick break, but when we come back, it's on to the game, starting with Team Solo Mid versus LMQ. The action is underway in just three and a half.